The massive blast that rocked Lebanon's capital, Beirut, also sending shockwaves rippling through the Lebanese community right here in Southern California. Hundreds of angry community members poured into the streets in Mid Wilshire tonight, mourning the dead and demanding accountability. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell has the latest tonight. Violent clashes between demonstrators and police on the streets of Beirut. Protesters attempting to break through barricades surrounding government offices. Officers firing tear gas to disperse rock-throwing protesters. Anger growing as many call for a change in leadership, accusing officials of corruption and negligence in the aftermath of the massive explosion that caused widespread destruction, killing more than 150 people and injuring thousands. <laughs> In Los Angeles, Lebanese Americans gathered to remember the victims of the tragedy during a candlelight vigil outside the House of Lebanon. Malek Saadi, a student in Los Angeles, was sleeping in his family's Beirut home when he felt what he thought was an earthquake. I hear screaming. I hear my mom and my sister screaming, yelling out for me, seeing if I'm okay. And I come out and I see the, my, my living room. Decimated. People died in their homes. A lot of my friends were not in their homes. Thank God. And my family, they were not in their homes. So they, they, they were able to escape this tragic event. Roughly 300,000 people are now homeless and in need of food and other assistance. Lebanese American community organizations in Southern California are pledging to support the people of Lebanon. Send any help through the Red Cross, Lebanese Red Cross, to the... Uh, any other organization that they're working on the ground, but not to the government, because again, the government of Lebanon is a very corrupted government. Local nonprofits are raising money and collecting food and other supplies to send to the people of Lebanon.